To get started, log into the system and start up the software. Then you can enter your username and password to log in. The username and password are case sensitive. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll see the main screen where you can find all the connected devices, easily access menu options, and check test statuses. To configure an instrument, click the instrument to view its settings. You can open the menu to see the types of tests available and also see instrument configuration options. Add instrument is used to put a new instrument into Fusion. Update instrument is used to save any changes, like changing the device name. Deactivate instrument will remove the instrument from Fusion. Use close to exit the menu once you've finished. System statuses give you the current overall status of the system and lets you know how many tests are running, pending, or available. To set up a new product or test, you'll need to go to the Product and Test page. Under Product Configuration, you'll enter the name and description, then click Add New Product. Under Test Configuration, you'll enter the name of the type of test to be performed, test type, threshold, skip, shut-eye, duration, temperature, and enter the unique test specification in this field. And you can optionally add via lot information then click Add New Test. You can now associate the test with the product. To see results in a grid view, click on a specific instrument and select Grid View Option. This cell is an example of a negative result, and you can also see an available test location. Open the cell and you can see a graph where each reading is displayed and the individual readings have been recorded. These are examples of positive results. And here you can see the detection, which is indicated by a red triangle. If there's an issue with a cell, the system admin can disable the cell location so that no tests can be run in this location. If you right-click on the cell, the menu will say Disable Cell, and then clicking it will disable the cell. The cells can be reactivated by right-clicking again and selecting Enable Cell. To start a sample in the system, you'll need to select the instrument, cells, and tests. Then highlight the cells, apply the sample ID under universal parameters, and start the samples. Then allow the vial presence check to start. To start a batch, first open an instrument. From there, you can load the batch, select the correct batch, and press load. Then select Start All. To set universal parameters and label batches, select an instrument from the main screen. This will open the grid view, and you can click on Open Sample Queue. From this menu, you can save a batch or load a previous batch into the grid view. Select cells and then select the test that will be run in this location, which will be dragged and dropped into the selected cells. All the cells will add the test and the status will change to pending. Reselect all the cells and select the universal parameters option. Here you can select the parameter type Select Pre and type in the name, 
and also add the production lot information to this page if required. Then you'll press apply. It will label all the samples with a sample name and then A through FF for all 32 locations selected. You can also save the batch to repeat the test at a later date or you can just run the batch by selecting start all. There are many report options available under the Reports tab in the menu. The condensed report will produce the sample name, product that was tested, the type of test that was run, the specification, the detection time if the sample has a detection, and if it is below or above the specification level. The detailed report shows all the information of the condensed report but also will add a description, if applicable, production lot, start time, run time, and user. The curve report will show the sample ID, date, product, test, production lot, specification detection time and result, but will also include a graphical result of the test. You can click on the export button to export the report to PDF. The temperature report will default to the last three months of data. This can be exported in many different ways. For the certificate of analysis, if multiple sample IDs were selected, then they'll each generate a unique COA. As you can see here, four different samples were selected, and there are four pages of COAs. For custom certificate of analysis, this view will be different for every user based on the options they select in the custom COA page on the setting option. The login audit report will show which users logged in and out of the system with the ability to export to LIMS if needed. The sample data report will show all the details of every test run under the selected samples. To view an analysis, first open up the reports page and select the samples you want to view. You can select up to 16 samples at once. Once you've selected your samples, Click the analysis page to open the samples there. This will plot out eight graphs and in this view you can adjust the parameters to see different results based on a new algorithm. Under Manage Fusion Database, you'll find the utilities where you can back up the database. The database will be saved in a folder with all the other backup databases. Under Import Products and Tests, you can import Fusion, Solaris, and Biolumix tests. In Manage Fusion Database Automatic Backup Settings, you can change the number of days between backups and set the time of day the backups happen. You can also see the data collector options with information that's important for technical services assistance. To create a calibration curve, Click the New Calibration Curve and enter the selection type, name, description, slope, and y-intercept. Then click Save Calibration Curve. If you're adding a new calibration curve with new data, enter both the CFU plate count and match it with the detection time on the Solaris. The system will generate the calibration curve based on the data entered. Under User Administration, you can create and update user accounts. Enter their first name, last name, email, and phone. You'll also need to determine their role in Fusion and if they'll manage certificates of analysis. Click Save New User, then click Update User Account.
you can click Change Password to update that as well. To change the password on the existing account, enter in the existing password, and then enter the new password, and repeat. The log will show up on the COA and other reports. There are several different selections under Settings. Under Report Settings, you can update addresses, headers, company and department names, and logos. Under Email Settings, you must set up an email account with the correct domain as determined by your IT manager. This is how you can get email notifications from the system if it's connected to the internet. Under Security Settings, the idle timeout is the time in seconds that the system will wait for no input before it automatically logs you out. The default setting is 180 seconds. The login logout attempts is the number of attempted logins with an incorrect password before the system will lock the account and require a system admin to reset the user. The default is 5 attempts. The password length days is the number of days before the password expires and has to be changed. The default is 90 days. The password warning in days is the number of days before the system will notify you the password is expiring and needs to be updated. Under other settings, notification retrieval hours is the number of hours that the system notifications are stored on the system. User notification retrieval hours is the number of hours that user notifications are stored. Calibration of the light sources is required to ensure the instrument is running optimally. UV calibration schedule is the number of days between UV calibrations that need to be done. The default is 90 days. Yellow calibration schedule is the number of days between yellow calibrations that need to be done. The default is 90 days. When calibrating yellow, make sure there are no vials in the system. File presence check enabled is a function that will check if there's a vial present in the testing location when you start a test. By default, this is enabled. Backup Purge Enabled allows you to purge a backup after a backup is performed. This option is enabled by default. Database Backup Retention Length shows how many days the data is stored before a backup is completed. The default is 730 days, or 2 years. You can also select and change network settings. Select an instrument that needs to be calibrated. Make sure the S2CV calibration files are in the instrument to be calibrated for UV for 30 minutes and select Calibrate UV. Wait for the calibration to finish and remove the calibration files from the instrument. Then click Calibrate Yellow. This concludes training for the Solaris Fusion software. For more information or any questions, please contact your Neogen representative.